What's up, beautiful people? In this video, I will be interviewing my one of my favorite couples that do this gardening journey with me. And I'm telling you, you're in for a treat, okay? Make sure you stick to the end because it's gonna get good and good and good, okay? All right, y'all. What's up, beautiful people? And welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. What's up, beautiful people? To another episode of Gardens and Their Gardeners, okay? As y'all, as I said in the beginning, y'all are in for a treat. I have one of the most hilarious couples. <laughs> <laughs> that will probably be featured on one of these here episodes and i'm excited to showcase the lovely garden that they have put together now this is a garden that i came out to before to deliver a bucket container situation and since then i mean there you even see a raised bed situation behind me and there's even so much more that i'm gonna show but without further ado let me show you who is behind all of this that we are about to see oh look at that face mr lana <laughs> well hello hello love lovely couple Hi. how y'all doing great good 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 now what is you all's name for the people mr and mrs johnson oh <laughs> there you go yeah, take on the ship <laughs> mr and mr johnson thank you thank y'all first of all thank you for sharing your lovely garden with us i'm looking forward to all that we will get to experience and to see now quick question how long have you all been gardening since February. Uh oh, February of this year. Yes. This okay, year. okay, so fairly new. Yes. Feel like it was longer? No. <laughs> Not you. So that we know who the gardener is. <laughs> so what made you start gardening? Well, I, I, I always love gardening. Mm -hmm. And um, after I started watching you guys, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I said, I don't want to. I'm going to go back out here and try it again. Yes. Because yes. I, I, I garden about maybe five, maybe eight years ago mm. I, I did a little gardening out here mm -hmm, but uh, mm -hmm. I say COVID ain't got nothing on me I'm gonna uh -oh. do something there you go <laughs> there you go and something you did some of you now speaking of I'm about to do something let's walk people around just to show them the different things that you have grown so far and let's just you know walk around talk about what you've done and the different things that you look forward to seeing okay well all right we got corn right here mm-hmm mm-hmm Bunch of corn. Yeah. Bunch of corn. I'm, I'm surprised it, it's growing. <laughs> but good. I, I watch those videos, yes, you know, on YouTube. And, uh huh. Uh huh. And uh, this is our um, cucumber. Yes. And it's huge. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Big old leaves. Let me just show y'all my hand compared to the leaf. <laughs> like, look at that. I don't. I don't have little hands. Ain't that right, Lonnie? Yeah. I don't have little hands. No, you have very tiny. Oh, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come on, grown man. I just said, my hand is hidden. That's how big that leaf is. That's a big leaf. She's right now. And then we have carrots over here. Yes, yes, two rows of two carrots. Two rows of carrots, yes. Yes, ma'am. And I see you have it on the hill. Yes. So that's smart. I like how you did that. Actually, when I did put my compost, the sand, mm, yes. with the dirt, and yep. I, I raised it up because mm -hmm. it was going really so okay okay we don't know what these are but we're gonna um, definitely pay attention to these if you happen to know by the leaf what these are please let us know in the comment section but um we do know what that we is got that peppermint there for that's the it bugs. that's it and we got that's away mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we have peppers yes we have peppers a whole row yeah. two rows well one row and that's sage next to it right oh yeah uh-huh there you go Yep, yep. So you have your sage and you have your bell peppers right there. Yes, ma'am. And All then right. and then we have our That's famous beginning. our famous greens planted by my husband. Oh! Oh! Okay, so we see the greens now, right? Okay, let, let's go to the Mr. Man. So if you could, if you would, tell us the story behind these greens that you all uh, planted. Yes. How did how did that happen? I planted them too deep. Mm. And I guess that's the results of it. I mean, it came up though. Yeah, it came up. So who lost? Oh, you said it would come up. That's it. Yeah. So nobody lost. No. Hello. I didn't think it would. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the greens planted by Mr. Lani. What else we have? We we gonna figure this one out, y'all. Yeah. Now these leaves are unique. I have yet to see some leaves like this. Again, if you happen to know what these are, let us know in the comment section. This is. Salad or something. This is very true. It could be some form of lettuce. It looked like uh, turnips. Turnips. No. All right, so plant number two. Let us know what plant number two is, okay? 
we already have plant number one over here and then plant number two let us know what you think this is now what do we have in these pots right here oh that's bok choy it was oh. given to me actually i've harvested twice it grows like crazy really? so i had to change the pot because she had it in one of those claw pots okay and the bees love it oh. it just bloomed some yellow blooms and uh, it just went away, but the bees swarm. I couldn't even come over here with so many bees. Bok choy. Bok choy. You eat it? It's, it's very good. Yeah. Uh oh. You don't even it. know. I put it in the soup. He, he there it is. It like that. Hello. <laughs> That's what happens when you get provider for. That's a happy man right there, y'all. That's a happy man. <laughs> and then we got our tomatoes. Yeah. I had two plants. I bought two pot, two pots from. Um, I think I bought it from Walmart. Okay. I bought two tomato plants. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And, and they, they turned out luxurious. Like crazy. You got you some green tomatoes right there. And I got some. So question with the tomatoes. Do you have any pests or anything that comes and get them? I any haven't squirrels, yet. squirrels, birds? But I've seen the birds out here. Okay. But um, that's all I've seen so far. Here's a little trick that I'm going to try out. And I'm going to share it on this here channel. It's first time I'm going to say it. Is I'm going to take some rocks. And I'm going to paint the rocks red. Mm -hmm. And my idea is to see if the birds will try to pick at the rock. Because I'm growing tomatoes. And so I'm going to get them in the mindset that, no, no, this red isn't good. So they're not going to be around my tomatoes. Well, that means maybe I should paint, paint my rocks red. Oh, well, we have, we have, <laughs> thank you. I have one, I have one boat saying yes. I have Mr. Man saying that's not going to work. Now it's talk to me. Work. Why not, sir? Because you're, you're forgetting about their sense of smell. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's you're. what draws them to it. It's not what. It's, it's not sight. Think, no, it's, you don't think it's, it's sight. Smell. You think it's smell. Okay. Now, if I'm wrong, somebody tell me. <laughs> don't don't give him too many comments, okay? Don't hurt his feelings. <laughs> Hems is sensitive. <laughs> All right, so we're going to see. We're going to see. I'm going to try it out. Just for kicks and giggles. But let us know in the comment section if y'all don't think it's going to work. But we're going to see. We're going to see. All right, Lonnie. So you say you found something. You no, know, birds are not attracted to the tomatoes themselves. Mm. They're attracted to the worms that tomatoes attract. Ah, who would you ask? Bexley? <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, clearly have an ongoing joke you know a uh, man want to know something he'll pull out the phone in the quickness and you know he has an android so i say it's bexley that he talks to i mean hey we do it well a siri it would <laughs> it would have told you that but it's okay it's okay that's another cucumber there yes. and i put some no, no scrolling, whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello. And I got for the bees. Um, yeah, and they love them. Some rosemary. Yeah, some rosemary. Yes, and and this is my squash, and I realized I sprayed it with the fertilizer, and I shouldn't uh -huh. have done that. So that's right. what I got. So it's a learning lesson. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know, we learn as we grow, and we grow as we learn. And one of the things we did learn and see is that you do not want to water your leaves. You want to water your roots. The roots in the soil is where you want to put your water. And, um, you know, it's okay. We're going to bounce back. Yeah, hopefully I get something. I mean, it's, it's yes, going crazy over here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You producing. Wow. You producing. And then those are my peas. Yes, yes. Your, your pole. So, your runners. We'll see what happens we with see that. see the peas growing right over here. Looking oh, nice. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, you got some peas growing. All so, connected up here. It's a beautiful sight. See, when you have your flowers, it'll let you know the pea's on the way. Gotcha. So, you good to go. Okay, okay. Well, you see a flower, you'll see a pea. And then over here is my watermelon bed. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Watermelon bed to me. I'm a watermelon girl. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I love watermelon. Yes, ma'am. I can have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 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 Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's all right. I see you have your soil yes. already ready. You have your peat moss ready. And you have your other ingredients yes. over there at the table ready yes. now. So you're not just talking about what you're talking about, but you already have some melons already grown. Yeah. So let's go look at the, the, yeah. the table. Let's look at the table to see for the preparation. Yeah. She's not just talking, but she already yeah. has some things going. Yeah. So these are the melon. Yes. All right now, these are seedlings. Yes, those are the seedlings. Mm-hmm. A bunch of them too. Even yeah. in this one pot, she has about six. Yeah, those are the ones that was in the bag on the mm -hmm. ground. Wow. I dropped the oh, bag yeah. and didn't realize it. And mm -hmm. they start growing out the bag. Just so, like that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we'll Probably take it. some soil. Hello. 
So, questions. Now, uh, Ms. Mel, you say you've been gardening since February, yes. this, this second go round. Yes. Um, so, what are some advice that you would give some, you know, new gardeners that may be attempting to give it a try? Well, I know I probably did an overload, you know. <laughs> Because, you know, I, when I get up in the morning, I run out here in the yard. But uh, uh -huh. like I've heard from others, uh, you know, just kind of start off a little small mm -hmm. and then work your way. Don't hang out in the yard so much. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Now, that's a very true point because when you hang out, you find more space and therefore more opportunity. Yeah. And then you realize, I could plant something here. I could yes. plant something there. And by the time you look up, it's so much stuff. You don't know what's what. And you can't even eat the stuff because it's just so much, right? And so, you know, there's some truth in that. Mm -hmm. But anyway, mm -hmm. this this is uh, cucumber lemon. Yeah. Ah. Cucumber lemon. Mm -hmm. That's what that one is. And now, let me show um, you all what's taking place down below. If you can see, look at all of these bees that have started to enjoy what's going on down there. I'm, I'm assuming it's the roots down there. We're thinking it's the water down there too. But this uh, cucumber lemon is attracting the bees, yeah. which is awesome. I mean, you want your bees in the garden and things like that for pollination and all of that. So, yeah. speaking of, I see the bees over here. What we have yeah, over here? Yeah, over here. And this is our, our cantaloupe. Yes. It's really blooming. Uh huh. How long have you been growing that? Uh, April. Since April. Since April. Since this April. is all since April. Yes. Ah. So it has been running. Yeah. You know where it started down here? Well, I see the start. Mm -hmm. And these leaves are fairly big. They're, uh, I don't know, what's the word? Like, um, rough? Yeah. You can tell they're climbers. Yeah. Because I didn't know. There's a lot that. of hairs. Let me show you the hairs. Oh, look at this. It's uh oh, it's, it's it's ready for the trellis action. Mm -hmm. You said you didn't know. So I bought some more trellises. <laughs> okay, okay, that's wise. Now, Mr. Lonnie, clearly you're not the gardener, you know, but it's okay because you're supporting yes, your gardener. He's my supporter. Uh, now, what advice would you give a uh, individual as yourself that is supporting the gardener? Just let her garden. If she needs something, go get it for her. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> that's wise counsel. That's Meredith's <laughs> advice right there. You, you didn't even know you was coming from marriage advice, but that was marriage advice one on one. Just go get it. Okay. Don't ask questions. Just go do what's necessary. All right, guys, plant number three. <laughs> what do you think it is? Let us know in the comment section below. See what, when I, I have my little things to mm -hmm. write on, yep. and I use the uh, dry eraser marker. Uh, and I thought it was the permanent marker. Uh huh. I've been so there too. I was like, <laughs> yep. Yep. And it fades away. It's the good old flow of the sun. <laughs> yeah, so let us know. The third is the third plant. Now, this is an interesting leaf structure because right. it grows tight. But then, see, look at this. Interesting, y'all. Please let us know. We are also curious. And then we starting a pineapple over there. Yes. I like that. I learned that from La La Crops. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> this morning. That's it. That's it. You have your uh, pineapple ready to go. I was like, okay. Uh -huh. I'll change that because I had it in a lot of water. Yes. It was horrible, the smell. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So uh -huh. she showed on that video how yep. to put it in, in the water mm -hmm. to catch. And uh, this is our blueberry. Uh -huh. One of them don't need a mate though. This the big one don't, but uh -huh. I bought it. Uh -huh. I, this one was given to me. Nice. And I bought this one from. Um, you say you need a mate, so I went and got one. Oh wow! But okay. this one doesn't need a mate. Well, next year we'll both be in blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so Ms. Mel, what is something that you are looking forward to picking and eating? Um, the cantaloupe. Okay. And the green beans. Mm -hmm. The squash is for my mother because my husband don't eat squash. Okay, okay. But, um, and um, the corn is special. Okay, okay. Yeah, wow, she didn't say watermelon. I was expecting watermelon because wow. of... It the fact that you can eat it at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay. So I, I, I can't think about that right now. Okay. See, that's why. It's, that's why it's right there too. <laughs> that's the stuff in the in, in the, right now. It's mm -hmm. it's like now. That other the, the uh, watermelon that's true. is like in the future. Correct. So. Okay. Uh, Miss Alani, what are you looking forward to eating that Miss Mel will bring in from the garden? The watermelon. <laughs> okay. So you already there. Yeah. You, you there. You're not even focused on the rest of this lovely garden. I I do. Look forward to the fresh corn. Okay. I do look forward to that. Yes, sir. And, and those carrots. I hope they're sweet. Okay. Now, that's some nice looking carrots too. I mean, as far as the tops. I can get, oh, I've the tops. Say, I yeah. No, 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 the tops. <laughs> now you can tell if you ever out here 
and you just want to, you know, surprise your wife with a fun fact. I have to tell you later because then she'll know if I tell you. <laughs> I realized what I was doing. And then you start leading it. I was like, wait, I can't say it. I can't say it right now. I'm ready for it. I got you. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna share that with you. I'm gonna share that with you now. Uh, now we do have, like you said, the whole watermelon raised bed that you are about to start. Mm -hmm. Now, what are some things that you are going to put in your raised beds as far as soils and things like that? I don't know the name of the stuff. Okay. You know, so we, I will say, I'm new at this. Right. Stuff. She she knew, <laughs> but she did use the different contents from the videos and yes. things. So she has the soil. Yes. She has the perlite. She has the peat moss. Uh, she also has the fertilizers, the sea salt, the Epsom salt, and the sustain, yes. and the cow manure. So she yes, has I'm everything ready. necessary, y'all. And those things are important, right? For the longevity, for the growth, and for your harvest that you would get in your raised bed. So don't just, you know, get a bag of dirt and think that could be it. It right. could be, but you do want your things to grow nice, strong, and healthy, as you see over here, like all that green. Now, I, I wish I could, I don't know, I'm gonna see if I could flash back when I first got here oh. when it was just the bucket container holder situation yes. and now this is February to May like yes and what how much of this did you do <laughs> <laughs> when honesty is the best policy <laughs> no he did okay remember oh yeah, oh, yeah he, he did, did the, the buckets in the red bucket. he did the buckets did okay the bucket. and it's all green over there oh, yeah. Yeah, it's all that. green yeah. so you did well sir you did well. You did your part. In fact, that's his cucumbers. I've just moved it out the bucket oh. and put it over there. So that was his cucumber. Look at you. Did yeah, you know did, that? Did no. Know huh. <laughs> huh. Huh. That's okay. What, that's what grew up. One one plant. Not so. Mm. It's so okay. We kept that's it. That's all it takes. That, look, that's it. That's all it takes. One plant can go a long way, sir. <laughs> So don't feel like that was a downgrade. Right. That was well, emphasized. It is bigger than I your hand, remember? Cute. Hello. There I it is. You come up with her. <laughs> okay. That's a wise man right there. So any other advice or things that you would like to say pertaining to gardening or, you know, anything that you think that people should know? Well, I think um, do your homework because I'm. Mm -hmm. that's what I... You know, I'm always on the videos. My husband's mm -hmm. like, you on there again? <laughs> like, yeah. Don't keep up with the Joneses. That's what <laughs> yes, I love it. Look at him shaking his head. I don't know why he's shaking his head like that. At least he knows it's good, wholesome people. Exactly. At least he know the people that she watches. It could be something else. Okay? It could be some soap opera or something. Right. Huh, but she getting educated. So yeah, I get good information. Yes, ma'am. So. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, Ricky. Yes. yes. So. La la. La yeah, mm -hmm. la la crops. crops. Yep, yeah. good old yes. people. Same church people. Yeah. You know, yes. that, that's another benefit of finding a good church home. You yeah. get connected with great people. Exactly. Okay. Don't don't sleep on the church. Okay. <laughs> Miss Alani. And and, and, and mm -hmm. Lord is setting a good example for my husband. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Uh-oh, uh-oh. So thumbs uh, up, Floyd. Uh, what you got to say about that, Mr. Lonnie? Uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all. I told y'all you would be in for a treat. Okay, now, Mr. Lonnie, you know, we built this moment up letting everybody know that you're not the gardener, right? Mm -hmm. But it's okay because you're the supporter. Yes, you go and get the different things that are necessary for all the different things that we see. Mm -hmm. uh, now, is there anything that you would like to say pertaining to gardening and or the lovely gardener that is tending to the garden? I just say I'm proud of my wife and I love to see her do something that she loves to do. Mm -hmm. So I just stay out of her way and let her do it. Mm. Well, look at that. I'm telling you. That was two nuggets he gave us, y'all. If you're married and you're watching, two nuggets that, I ain't gonna say Floyd taught him, but two nuggets <laughs> that we can see, <laughs> that we can see that are beneficial for you as a supporter, man. I'm telling you, gardening is so much fun. It's not just about what you can eat, but the fun the relaxation yes. that you get when coming outside, yes. getting under the sun, yes. getting your hands in the dirt. It's therapeutic all the same yes. as well. And I mean, it's something that you get to enjoy yes. with the food that you get to eat as well. So, I mean, it's just full circle. And then, you know, we're working on some things. There are some other church members that we have that are growing food as well. Yeah. And hopefully we can all continue to grow and then we can share and we can just continue to bless each other, help each other, grow each other and um you know eat good food because that's what we want to do we want to live long yes 
Live long and long and be strong. You know, I bought them a hammock, you know. So I'm, I'm trying to get this area out, you know, so we can put it out. Okay. You okay, know. so you can so you can be on the so hammock while she out here gardening. Exactly. Uh -huh. Huh? Is that the idea? Is that? Huh? Hopefully. Huh? Huh? Are you, are you looking forward to the hammock, sir? No, no, no. Huh? No, 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 no. Huh? So this hammock, this hammock, I didn't even know she was going to bring it up. I, I bought it for him for Christmas. There it is. There it and is. it's still in the box. There it is. So now, you know, we're getting the garden right, getting the uh -huh. grass right. So uh -huh. we can, Put this hammock out here, mm. and he might try. Not, the body is not balanced right for it. <laughs> <laughs> He's working on. He's end up on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so, our last piece of advice: if you have any advice for how to properly execute yourself on a hammock, let us know Please. in the comment section. Okay, Miss Mel watches. She will be watching. He'll now be watching because it's something that can help him. And uh, you know. We'll see videos of that. I'll come video him getting on the hammock for the second time. Because the first time, we're going to let that be private. But the second time, we're going to come record that and everything else that's doing the garden. But yes, nonetheless, I love you all. I appreciate you all. Thank Continue you so to much. grow, get in the garden, try some things new, and uh, enjoy yourself, man. There's so much laughter yes. and fun that can take place. Yeah. Even for the person that is not even interested in gardening now has a hammock that he will be sitting exactly. at looking at a garden exactly because his wife bought it for him for christmas yes and it's summertime <laughs> so he's behind but in the end of the day we love you all thank you see you next time peace ah! <laughs> lado you, i ain't know that was gonna happen sir